Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can access your SharePoint documents inside your Power Apps and make them downloadable directly without using any Power Automate flow or anything like that. As you can see, I have this Power Apps and I've loaded all the data from this data document library. And when I click on this download button, it will directly download file to my local drive and in case I click on the title of this file, it will open up that file into my browser window. Let's just talk about how you can create this. I'm into my power apps. I will insert a blank screen, insert a vertical gallery. I'll connect this to my data document library. If you do not have connections, you can build your connections from here by clicking on add data, then search for SharePoint here select SharePoint connectors, add a connections. If you already have a connection, select that, select your site, select your document library and click on connect. Once you have that, you can connect that data source from here. Okay. And or by going to the item property here. Once I have this, I will expand this fit into the screen size and uh, I'll go and insert a text label, fit that according to this uh, screen and in the text I'm going to set download files, font size I'm going to put 16, okay it's uh, 16 that I have to put semi bold text alignment center i'm going to set a background color as blue and font color as white this is done now we'll go inside our gallery this looks good to us there is a subtitle we don't need this there is image we don't need this there is rectangle we need this one separator we need i need to change the color of separator like blue and set the height as two that's all we have to do for the separator and there is few error that we are encountering so that is this let me just set this to zero first Okay, that's all we have. And now inside this gallery, I'm going to insert a document icon. I will set this to center align and in the title text property, I'm going to set this item dot file name with extension. We have this, bring this to center. This looks good. And on the on select property of this, what I'm going to say is download this item dot link to item. That's all we have to do. Click on save if i run this and we scroll down click on any of the file you will see that file coming up into the next window and next thing that we have to do is change this icon first search for download have this download button here we have this download icon change the text color of this I'll make the size a little bigger 60 maybe width and height and on the on select of this what I have to do first is just inspect this document library just to showcase you how we are getting things done and if I click any of the document click on download 
you will see this pop up to save the file but in the network if you see there is a this download dot aspx i will uh, just copy link address and paste this inside my browser window so you will see that we have our site url and this layout 15 dot download aspx and then unique id is the id of that particular item so how we can make this uh, dynamic what i will do i'll go in my power apps i will set a variable that is surl comma this this item dot link to item this will give us the url of this site as well as item where we are linking so if i just put semicolon and uh, put notify here okay and uh, in notify call the surl save this run this you will see it is giving us the url that we required but also giving data and then the file name so what we will do is we will use a split to get everything before this data for that what i'm going to do is go here again put a split here split this item dot link to item comma split from data that is our document library name and then get the first out of it that means we will get the site url close this a dot value of it and then close the set function that's all and now if we run this as url you will see we'll get the site url only and as i shown you the complete uh, download url we get everything till here and from here onwards till this unique id even this equal to i will copy and will go to power apps go to this remove this one and create a download function and in the download use surl that we will get dynamically every time and then use the end operator then double quotes and put this customized one here and we do not have any unique id uh, parameters here so instead of unique id we can use sourc source url and put the m percent and then in the source url what i'm going to use is this item dot link to item okay and close this save this now and now run it if i click on any of the file you will see it is asking us to save this and we can save this you will have the file open up here so if you scroll down click on any of the file and you will see you can save it open this it will open up in your desktop just to mention one thing here is if you go here instead of uh, this item dot link to item you can select sorry the full path property this one and this one also will give you the same result all right and one more thing in case 
this all is not working for you what you can do is after this source url what you can do is you can uh, call your s url that is your this site url then again and save this this will also work fine for you this way all right so i hope you like this video and it is helpful for you if you do like don't forget to subscribe learn and tech thank you so much for watching